Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. So the sub subject or theme for this particular reading is going to be um, are you dealing with a narcissist and if so maybe some advice on how to handle that situation, some things that you should do. Maybe that would help you to get away from this connection. Uh, if this person is just, you know, um, being silent or they just, when they come around, you know, they're just not very pleasant to be with. So we'll figure out first, we're going to use um, the yes, no coin flip. So we'll get the answer if they are a narcissist with the yes, no coin flip. And then after that, um, we'll get the advice from the cards that we have. We're using a number of different cards here. We're using one card from the Messenger Oracle, um, one card from the Trust Your Vibes Oracle, um, one card from the Healing with the Fairies Oracle, um, one card from the Sweet Romance deck, and two cards from the Zombie Tarot. So. Uh, the icons that we have today are just numbered icons, so you can either go by the number. One is going to be the first reading, two is going to be the second reading, three is going to be the third reading. Um, or you can go by the timestamp, so look below at the timestamps, whatever one you're drawn towards. But now I'm going to be quiet, let you guys focus on which pile you're drawn towards, and then we'll figure out, are they a narcissist? Okay, so if you picked number one, first we're going to do a yes, no coin flip to see if this person is a narcissist. So, okay, so we got yes. So the person that you're dealing with is a narcissist. Um, let's get some advice for you on maybe how to handle this situation. The first card that you got is the world card. The second card that you got is the four of cups. The next card that you have is the wham bam thank you ma'am card, okay. The next card that you have is ask your spirit helpers, card number 15, nice. The next card that you have is Embrace the Dark, okay. And the final card that you have is Detoxification, okay. So some pretty solid advice I would say here. Um, firstly, I'm going to go over the Detoxification card. Um, so we, we all sometimes, you know, have harmful habits and it can be that this person um, that surrounds you has these harmful ha habits or just isn't for your highest good and I think you deserve something fresh you deserve something new um, this person I just think that they're highly toxic to you um, to your thoughts to your emotions they bring out your fear um, your fear of judgment and I think this person isn't really love based um, because right above it we've got the wham bam thank you ma'am so I don't think this person really cares about loving you I think it's more of like um, more of like they just want you to you know have sex with um, I think this person they do enjoy being with you um, but I don't think it's good for you. I do think it's harmful for you to be around this person. Um, they could leave you like emotionally drained once you've been around this person. You just feel exhausted. Um, you feel, you know, like you have to go lay down after you've been around this person. And I just think you're overall, if you think about it, you're very dissatisfied with this person. This person just makes you tired. This person is kind of, they don't excite you. And I think that this person does have a lot of people that they've scared away. I think people run away from this person in terror. And um, you're kind of getting that. You're kind of understanding why um, people don't want to go towards this person because this person, um, 
you know, they, they're they not going to satisfy you. Um, the moments that you have spent together are probably mostly sexual experiences. And this person, um, overall, I think if you stay with them, your world is going to come crashing down. Because in this particular deck, the world card is going up in flames, you know, while these people are down here, you know, making out. So I think, you know, overall, if you do keep going back to this person, um, it's, it's, eventually it's just going to fall out. Your world's going to come crashing down. They probably will just destroy everything around you, you know, um, because I really think this person, um, all they really want from you is a physical thing. So I think you are kind of learning that. I think um, you're at a stage in your life where you're you're actually looking for more than that. And I think you're ready to end, you know, this relationship with them. And that's probably why you are drawn towards this reading is because you've learned the lesson and you're like, you know, this person, every time I'm around them, I feel kind of drained. You know, they make me do things that I normally wouldn't do. And overall, you know, I'm done with it. I'm bored with it. It's not satisfying me anymore. And it's just a matter of now is how do you get away from this person? We've identified that they are a narcissist and that they're no good for you. And so you're wondering, how do you get away from this person? This person, you know, I feel like um, they have wronged you in some way. And I think that you know that you know that this person is destructive you know that this person um i don't think they genuinely love you and i think you've learned these lessons and this is this is all part of teaching you know so it's like teaching you to love yourself and know that you don't have to be with a person that's um you know full of anger dislike uh that makes you feel fear and i think um this happened for a reason so you you were meant to cross paths with this person um so that you could find out what real love is about and i think this person all they really had to show you was physical gratification and this person their acts i don't think there were any acts of genuine love um this person they I just don't think they're good for you. I really do think that they're bad for you. And it's just a matter of you just embracing your dark side and being like, look, okay, um, I don't need to put up with this. So it's like saying no. And if you're an empath like me, um, saying no is a hard thing. But sometimes, you know, we all do have that dark side. We have to embrace it and just tell this person that um, I'm, I'm, I'm going in a different direction in my life, you know. Um, I don't see us being together. I don't see us having, you know, the same interests, the same likes. And I honestly, you know, I just don't feel like we can um, be in a healthy relationship. So I think it's all about telling this person, you don't have to be callous. You don't have to be, you know, vindictive or anything like that because I think that's how this person would want you to be they would want you to come back at them and fight with them because that's what they're all about you know um, they they wouldn't mind that but I feel like you um, you're just into less conflict you don't want conflict with this person you want to get away from that um, so you got the card ask your spirit helpers so if you are feeling stuck, this is just saying that call on the other side, your spirit guides, they're ready and willing to help you to get out of this connection. And if you're feeling stuck, you know, then do something else so you don't have to think about this person, go for a short walk, drink a cup of tea. Um, just don't really think about this person. Try to focus on positive things and I think that your spirit guides are really there to help you, um, whether it's, you know, a deceased grandmother, deceased grandfather, de deceased parent. Um, they really want you to find a genuine love. They don't want you to be in these superficial relationships. And I think that they are there to love and to help you and to guide you. Even if you weren't meant to meet this person, I think it was 
to help you better learn what real love is so that um, you can see the difference between a superficial love and a deep love you know one where the person wants more than physical things you know they want to be with you they want to go on adventures they're exciting you know they're not they're not boring they're not um, gonna make you feel bad about yourself so I think what you need to do is just call on help help from your spirit guides and know that they're gonna help you and you will find someone you will find someone who is gonna love you the way that you deserve to be loved and I think healing is also something that you should ask your spirit guides to help with um, because of this person that you've been around with hanging around with um, whether you know it's a love interest which it could have just been like um, you guys established that this was just going to be a sexual thing. But I think proactively you should look to looking for something more fulfilling than that. Um, something that's that's healthier is what I'm, I'm thinking for you. So that's the advice that I have for you. Sorry I had to break the news that this person is a narcissist. If you're coming to this reading, I think that you probably already felt like this person was. And you just you know, we're looking for that advice. So hopefully this helped you in some way. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, the link to my Etsy is down below. I would love to help you. Uh, if you're if you're not interested in Etsy, then just shoot me an email. It's amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so if you pick number two, first we're going to do the yes no coin flip to determine is this person a narcissist and if they are, maybe some advice on how to deal with that situation, get out of that situation. So think of your person. Okay, so we got no. This person is not a narcissist. So let's get some advice on what to do in this situation. You're not dealing with a narcissist. You're dealing with a person um, that has feelings, uh, that knows how to love people, um, knows how to be happy. Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Four of Hazards, okay. We've got the Secret Admirer, all right. We've got Get Grounded, good advice. We've got Heed Your Dreams. And we've got Trust Your Intuition, perfect. Okay, so this person, they are not a narcissist but this person is a secret admirer so this person has been admiring you from afar uh, maybe they're just a shy person maybe they're just a person who's kind of reserved um, I feel like this person has had some disappointments in their life they have had to deal with some people that were probably uh, not healthy so this person could be a little bit um, reserved as far as um, they'll go underground you know if people are banging on the door you know they're just gonna stay down there they've got everything they need so this person they they're in abandoning um, relationships with people um, I think because they are afraid maybe of getting out there of trying to um, do something new so this person could be you know maybe stuck in a routine of um, you know balancing the books um, grocery shopping you know it's like they're just stuck in this cycle of doing the same thing um, and it could be there that's just what they feel comfortable with they feel stable uh, in their own life so maybe they just don't want to let these other people in because they're so f afraid of dealing with a narcissist so they're like well I will you know I don't want to get into a relationship that is negative I've been in in those type relationships so I am just gonna watch this person from afar and boys do they love watching you from afar so this person your social media they're on it 
uh, your friends, they might be talking to them, uh, you, you know, selfies, they're checking them out repeatedly, maybe even saving them on their phone. Um, this person really, they see you as a nurturing person, playful person. Um, they see you as the life of a party. They just see you with a person who, um, if they were looking for advice or something like that, they would see you as a person that, you know, you would be willing to help them. So they see you as an empathetic person, a person who uh, is very spiritual, loves children, animals, the environment, um, the universe. It's just a, just a totally, you know, loving, emotional person. So they do love that about you, but they're just so afraid of stepping out of their comfort zone. They have literally gone into hermit mode and they're just plugging their ears to everyone, maybe even their friends, you know, telling them, you know, you need to get out, you need to stop, you know, just secluding yourself, you know, watching this person, admiring this person. Maybe they've even told their friends, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with her, but I just, I can't talk to her. I'm too afraid to do it. So I really think this person, um, they are a secret admirer of yours. Maybe your intuition has really been telling you that. You could be like, well, when this person's around me, they're pretty shy. Um, this person, when they're around me, you know, I, I just feel like um, they they have true feelings for me. And, and not just friendly feelings. I feel like this person, you know that they truly desire to be with you. And, you, you know, if you were listening to your intuition, um, I think it would tell you that this person, you knew this person wasn't really a narcissist. Maybe it's just issues with self-confidence. Maybe it's just uh, issues with standing up for themselves. Um, maybe it's uh, issues with making decisions in their life. Maybe they've always been with narcissistic people who always make decisions for them. So they, deep down, they just really don't know um, how to communicate to you. Um, they're scared of communicating to you or they're just procrastinating. Um, inevitably, you know, talking to you because I feel like despite the fact that they're afraid to talk to you they really really deeply do want to um, and get grounded card number two um, and two is a number of you know the two of cups it's like um, balance harmony um, making decisions so this person they're really having to make decisions now um, do I keep you know just being by myself, being cautious, being scared, or do I, you know, step out there and take the first step, you know, is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, I think this person uh, really, it, they're being called to be grounded right now. Um, and turning to like higher vibrations in their life. Um, it could be that this person, um, they really need to maybe get healed. They need to reconnect with their higher awareness, like uh, their vibes, they need to trust their vibes and they need to trust their intuition more um, because they could be unsure if they can hang out with you if, if you're a person they can trust that um, won't hurt them, you know? Um, also, I think uh, maybe you have had dreams about this person uh, and you're wondering like, uh, why, do, why do I think about this person so much? Um, you're just trying to understand it. You're just trying to understand um, and interpret your dreams and what they're trying to tell you. So this is telling you your dreams are important. They're trying to tell you things. So pay close attention to you know, maybe the way you feel in the dream, the feeling that you had in the dream. If you can't really remember the dream, remember the way it made you feel and maybe you can learn something from that. Um, but yeah, I think this person, they're full of 
fear and joy at the same time about being with you um, but they're very very scared so they could just be a person like I said that has low confidence maybe they've been with people that have um, you know been narcissists that have made them feel unworthy um, and so they'd rather just watch you from afar but I really think this person is a sweet person deep down and they're very much like you I think they're they they are a lot like you maybe you're more personable maybe you're more outgoing than this person and maybe they're more of like a hermit type person uh, closed off from the world very protective of themselves and it's good to be protective of your energy it's totally you know fine to be protective of your energy because you know narcissists people like that can steal your energy um, but this person I think a little bit too overprotective they need to go outside they need to step out of their comfort zone take the first step to realizing their dreams of what they want and I think you know they want to be with you and intuitively I think you already knew that this person wanted to be with you but maybe you weren't sure if they were a narcissist or if they were just a shy person um, a fearful person so that's what I'm getting for this person if you pick number two so hopefully that resonates with you hopefully that's helped you in some way if you would like a personal reading then definitely check out my Etsy the link is below I would love to do a reading for you uh, or you can just shoot me an email it's Amanda Rose Tarot at hotmail.com and I check that quite frequently and uh, just shoot me an email and we can talk about what you're looking for so thank you guys so much Okay, and last but not least, if you pick number three, first let's do the yes no coin flip to see is this person you're dealing with a narcissist? And then maybe some advice if they are. If they're not, then just some general advice on what to do in this situation. So focus on your person. Okay, so we got yes. So this person, yes, uh, they do have narcissistic tendencies. Let's get some advice on you on how to, for you on how to deal with this person. Okay, we've got the 10 of wands. We've got the two of swords. We've got too many cooks in the kitchen, okay. We've got, make a note of it, card number 34. We've got Honor Gaia, card number 18. And lastly, we've got Dreams Com Coming True. Okay. All right, so make a note of it, card number 34. Wow, okay, so make a note of it. This card, I feel like it's a, a very good advice for you. Um, what this suggests is that what you do um, to strengthen your confidence in trusting vibes, you know, so trusting vibes around people so it could be that you don't know if you're dealing with a narcissist or not people you come in contact with you're not sure you can't fully trust your vibes and uh, you want to you want to be able to trust yourself around people to know you know are am I being guided to this person you know are they a good person so this is suggesting that you carry around a small notebook throughout the day and write down any vibes you pick up on from people that you uh, interact with. This could be at work, this could be love connections, friend connections, family connections. Write down the vibes that you pick up from this person. No, no matter how subtle they are, you know, just hunches you get, um, just vague notions that you get maybe when you interact with people um, 
and then just trust that your vibes are correct you know this is going to help you to trust yourself you know so if you pick up on someone you know may say maybe you're even at the grocery store and there's this person in front of you and they're you know maybe they're um they're fidgeting back and forth you know on their feet you know it, it, it seems like um they don't like maybe waiting in line or something like that you're physically picking up on this person's vibe by um what you're seeing what they're doing um and so these are sp subtle things that we can pick up on it can be even facial expressions you know this person maybe the way they look at you maybe it looks like they have an angry face or you know they're they're um there are things that we can pick up on from people, subtle things, vibrations that we get from people. It can be visual cues that we get from people. And it, it could be that you're still um, learning to pay attention to those things. And it could be that you don't quite trust yourself. Um, so it could be you need, this is one tool that can help you to identify um, the people you come in contact with, whether they're good, whether they're bad, should I interact with them, should I not interact with them. Um, so the thing is you could be interacting with too many people. So it could be that you're dealing with a lot of people that are narcissistic and these person, these people that you're dealing with, um, you know, it's like all of them want you to listen to what they have to say. All of them, you know, want to give you input. And it's like all of these people that you're dealing with are creating problems in your life. It's like they, they're negatively impacting, um, you know, your life and what you want to do with your life. It could be that you, um, you've let a lot of these type of people into your life and, um, you know, maybe you need to make a decision to um, start picking different people to interact with because it's like the more people that, you know, uh, that you let into your life that are no good for you, it's just going to keep continuing to um, make your life harder and harder and harder it could this person could be acting like you know they're trying to help you um, they could be you know trying to give you advice tell you oh well you have these problems and this is my opinion of how you should be handling your life you know and I think you could be the type of person that's just like oh well okay, well, I guess I should do what this person says. I guess I should do what this person says. Um, and you're just trying to please all of these people around you. And I still think that they just don't, they're not satisfied with you. Whatever you're doing, it's just not good enough for them. And I really think if you pick this pile number three, you are just a person that continually gives away your energy to other people and trying to please them and I think you're giving it away to the wrong people they they um, they are sucking the life out of you and you know you need to keep that for yourself you need to keep um, protecting yourself so kick all of these other people out of the kitchen you know what you're doing with your life you don't need these people telling you what to do making decisions for you I think they're just burdening you is what these people really are doing. They're making it hard for you to get ahead in life. They're making it, you know, your workload heavier, your responsibilities heavier. Um, they're, I feel like they're really oppressing you. And the sooner you get these people out of your life, the better you're going to be. So, you know, just learn to say no to this person, to these other people. Um, tell them no. Just say, I'm cutting you out of my life. Obviously, you're not good for me. You're not the type of person that I'm looking for. I've trust my vibes. You know, I've been making notes about some of the things that you've said to me. And when I look back on those things, I realize that you don't really care about my feelings. You don't care about my opinion. You don't care about um, loving me, being, you know, 
a person who supports me. Um, you, you may think this person um, is trying to help you, but I really don't think this person is helping you at all. They're just trying to maybe um, use you because I think you are a very, very positive person. You're a very light person. And this person could have bitterness towards you for that. Um, I think that they want to just steal the life force out of you. And um, without you, I don't think this person would be um, happy. Um, but they're only a burden on you. And they're only, you know, causing you confusion. They're only hurting you. And I think... You just need to cut this person out of your life and do not listen to their advice. I feel like their advice is bad, whatever they're telling you. Um, it's just going to spoil your opportunities. Um, so it may seem like they're, they're supportive, they're thoughtful, um, but it could just be all about them. You know, it could just be all about them. And they could see you as like the mother, the home, the provider, and you know, they're seeking what you've got. They want what you've got. And so they're gonna, you know, keep you in the dark and keep grasping at you, keep pulling at you. Um, but I think that you've had enough. I think you're ready to tell this person no. Um, you know, I've been, I've been watching you. I've been watching what you've been saying to me. And now that I'm looking back, you know, reflecting on everything, I see that, you know, I can do better. I can do better. So it's really hard for an empath to push people out of their life, especially people that uh, you feel like they need you um, or they, you know, they're better with you helping them. Um, you could genuinely think this person wants to be thoughtful to you, but I don't really think that um, it, it, you can expect a positive outcome with this person. I think that um, dream about something better. Dream about being uh, in a relationship where uh, it naturally feels like peaceful. It naturally feels harmonious you don't feel maybe like you're walking on eggshells you don't feel like um, fear of this person's opinion um, just know that there are wonderful people out there there are situations that people can truly be thoughtful they can um, you know be grateful for you in their life they can um, not judge you or cause you to be fearful they can actually be grateful that you are a part of their life and they can be like well thank you you know I, I don't want to burden you I, I don't want to um, be you know that person in your life that's you know pulling at you to do this to do that telling you what to do this person could uh, just be excited to be with you so I think um, keep looking for someone um, this person is just gonna sabotage you in your success this person does not see want to see you get ahead they just want to steal your light force your light and um, I think you, if, you, if you make some notes about what this person has been saying to you uh, you can see that this person um, they, they are a negative person. They are a person who just wants to put more burdens on you and keep you confused and just maybe tell you what to do, uh, even though it's not right, you know, tell you what to do, even though it's not the right thing to do. Uh, so keep looking, keep looking for positive people. Keep your faith that um, you can know who is right for you and you know get that notebook keep that notebook with you and write down you know the vibes that you get from people the people at work you know people in your family you're writing down vibes that you're getting from them and they could be bad they could be bad vibes so that's what I'm getting for you if you pick number three uh, I hope you like this reading know that your dreams will come true but I don't think it's with this person so um, 
as always I'm sending you love light and blessings um, if you would please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell trying to build this community we're almost to 5,000 subscribers I've been saying that for six months but it's like um, my subscribers has come to a standstill so uh, I'm really hoping that you like my content that you'll subscribe to my channel and you know I'm popping more videos out there all the time so if you subscribe you'll get notified when I pop a new video out there so thank you guys so much sending you love light and blessings and I will talk to you again very soon bye bye